Hi everyone, this is Akash and I am someone who has switched his career from manual tester to data scientist. When I started my career, I was given the role of a manual tester and I wanted to switch my career to data scientist. But when I looked around, what are the possibilities of me doing so, the opportunities were very scarce. I, I was seeing lakhs of lakhs of rupees of course and I didn't have so much money to start pursuing this data science learning. So I started doing self-learning and not only did I switch my um, career from manual tester to data scientist in the same company. After two years, I even made a very good uh, jump in a startup uh, which had a proper analytics based company and uh, all these experiences, everything uh, which I did from very scratch to learn data science and make a good hike uh, in terms of data science profile. Everything is something uh, inspired me to make a data science course so that people like me can uh, pursue their dream. Now. The first question which arises, which arises to my mind also when I was uh, looking for other career, career alternatives apart from the manual testing. So it was like why data science? So let me tell you there are basically three kinds of options in IT. If someone from non-coding background or non-tech background, people are looking to move to IT, right? So what are the, uh, so they are looking for growth. So let me tell you what are the three things in IT. Firstly is development. So whenever a company starts, they want someone to develop their website or application, app, mobile app, whatever it is. Then that's a very primary requirement. Then there is a secondary requirement wherein the company wants someone to test their app so that the user experience are good. So that's when you come, come the roles of a tester, be it a manual tester or auto, automation tester. Next comes uh, when company is running nicely, they have uh, gathered some huge amount of data about the customers and buying behavior. So they try to use that data and start making uh, profits and grow exponentially. So that's where the role of data scientist and analysts come into the picture. So for um, developer, you need to learn a good amount of data sets and algorithm. It's intensive coding also required. When you come to testing, Manual testing is there, but it doesn't have much growth. In automation testing, again, you have those same uh, kind of uh, coding skills required. And when you come to data analysis, there is almost negligible coding, but some Python uh, knowledge is very good. And when you come to data scientist, bit more coding is required, but it's quite less compared to that of a software developer. So, and because of this reason, people who are from non-tech background, who have never done coding, they want to enter into IT, so they choose the career as data science and analytics, right? Not only the people from non-tech background, people who are even from computer science background, I've seen a lot of them trying to move to the data science and analytics field because of the lucrative career options, because of the kind of high companies are providing, because this role directly connects with the profit of the business. Now let's jump to our course. So our course is designed in the form of hands-on learning. It's not just a combination of videos, it's practical learning, like you will uh, watch a video, then you will solve some questions, then watch second video, then solve some questions. In this way, the learning will be highly interactive, highly practical, so you do not be like, uh, uh, just watch the videos and at the end you will have some assignment and you will forget everything. And that doesn't work, especially in the data science field, you need to do hands-on learning from the very beginning. And that's how I have designed this course. And this is something I realized from my learning experience. Previously, I used to watch just videos, but whenever I was given a data set, I was clueless how to make a progress from there. So that's why I decided I will make something which is hands-on based. Now, when I used to get stuck in some doubts, I used to take around sometimes even two days to resolve those doubts. And that made inspired me to develop a system wherein your doubts are resolved instantly. So we have chat support team uh, from 6 p.m. to 12 midnight. The team is available to resolve your doubt over voice chat and text chat. So we are developing our new LMS. We are developing the uh, iOS app, Android app, everything for the convenience of learners. So it took around one year to develop the entire system uh, so that we can provide personalized support to our learners. So based on all these uh, principles, our course are designed. So after completing the course, the course videos, the course assignments, you are supposed to do the projects. So in the projects, you will be, uh, you are supposed to do one or two, three projects. So after doing the projects, we recommend you, you do a internship, one month industrial internship with us because that will give you the proper exposure uh, about how the things work in industry. You will have a connect with us on regular basis and the things will move very faster. And then you can start the job assurance program with us. And uh, in that we have a lot of offerings which will help you get placed. 
and that's why the entire course is named as data science and analytics placement assurance program with pay after placement opportunity where we will help you get placed so how the things start now you have completed the course the projects the internship then you sign a agreement with us in the agreement uh, what it states that you have to pay us the uh, placement amount not the course fee course fee separately uh, which is something you paid in the beginning but the pay after placement amount is something you need to pay in installment only after getting the job and that too we promise a minimum of 6 lpa if you are getting that then only you have to pay us so minimum of 6 lpa for freshers and minimum of 20% hike for person having 2 years of relevant experience when i say relevant it's like you are already working in data science or analytics field now we have two tracks so uh, someone would like to become data analyst for them we have a separate track someone would like to become a data scientist for them we have a separate track of topics core topics which they need to complete to name a few for data analyst is excel power bi tableau sql statistics for data scientist is machine learning deep learning sql python and many more so that way the entire timeline has been designed uh, in the span, you can complete it in the span of 3 to 4 months both for data scientist and data analyst so you can choose any of the track and uh, you can move in that particular direction uh, for the job now the question that comes in everyone's mind that why are we providing data science and analytics together reason being in the industry these roles are not very clearly defined people in the job description of a data analyst will sometimes ask the skills of a data scientist and in the uh, job description of a data scientist they will sometimes ask the skills of a data analyst so that's why we are giving it as complete offering that okay you start your career as a data analyst get a job then you can learn the topics of data scientist also because this is going to help you in your career and we already have a lifetime validity so you can have enormous amount of learning with our courses and, uh, and we have constant updates we keep updating our course uh, we keep adding new new topics uh, based on the market demand and uh, whatever is required we are adding different topics and uh, we are updating our platform everything so we are out there to help you with all your necessities so that you from scratch you learn very nicely and get placed we are also have uh, all uh, on out like our placement team is there to tie up with so many companies so they are having tie up with companies they are trying to make network so that whenever you are ready for placement we will be able to place you in uh, any way so there are three modes we use for placement one is through we will send you job opening mails that's one way of getting placed another is through ref- referral network so in the referral network we have lot of uh, so if you know we already have 13000 plus learners so they are working different companies so they will help you get referred in their companies provided your uh, skill set and their job description matches next we have company tie ups from there we will try to uh, give you company tie up based interviews wherein your resume will be directly sent to the companies and those companies will send their job description to us when and uh, whenever they get their openings so this way in these three ways we will try to get you interviews and get you placed and along with all the technical skills which you will be learning in the course one very special thing which you will learn is the job hunting techniques this is something which i have made based on my personal experience of finding out jobs so as a fresher i don't know how to re- reach out to people and this particular course job hunting techniques will make you aware of getting jobs on your own how you should reach out to recruiter how you should mail them how to find their mails how to find the hr mails and shoot mails to them so that you get a chance for interview call how to leverage linkedin uh, like i got most of my interview calls from linkedin i even uh, like i in total i got 40 plus interview calls in a span of 3 months and the linkedin was a major player there what i used to do i used to, if there was any company on the linkedin uh, have with jobs opening i used to go to the company page and look out for the people working there and send them connection requests send them some notes saying about my skill sets and w- why i am a good fit for, for that particular role and they will be highly interested to refer you if properly if you are sending the message properly because they will get money for the successful referrals and uh, and it's a very good way of getting interview calls right even if you are fresher from very different background hrs might not see a profile nicely but referral some profile is coming from referral it works miraculously right so that is something very important uh, that nobody will teach you right and how to curate your resume that is something we will teach you in that like what are the components of the resume we should keep in mind how to write a skill set how to write a bio section how to write your projects and also there i have explained how to explain your projects in an interview 
right? People are most of the time not able to explain their projects uh, in an interview, even if they have done. And even if you have not done an industry project, if you want to showcase right some uh, personal project on some based on some publicly available data as a project in a company, then how? What are the things you should keep in mind? All the things I have covered in that, and also how to handle the HR questions like why you have so much cap. So all these question and answers I have tried to cover so that you give a, a complete view of how to hunt for jobs on your own. Also, how to use Nokri, how to build a Nokri profile so that you are getting ranked higher on the Nokri searches. And uh, there is also one website which Angel, I think now it's named as Well-Founded, where startup jobs are there. And recently, a lot of more hiring platforms like Hirec and things are coming up, which will help you get uh, jobs as a fresher and someone from a very different background in the IT domain as a data scientist or analyst. Along with all this, we provide you unlimited mock interviews. So when you start your job uh, placement assurance program, you will get an option to schedule mock interviews so that you are ready before the actual interview. And in this case, you can schedule for any technical topic or HR topic or managerial rounds. You can schedule the interview rounds and you can get prepared for that. You can also get feedback and everything. You, you even can get a resume and LinkedIn feedback from the interview or you can also ask us through different modes and we will re review your resume and LinkedIn as a part of the job hunting techniques. To summarize, in our data science and analytics placement assistance program, you will get mm, the learning in the best possible way, which is hands-on learning and you have the course support wherein you can ask your doubts and it will be resolved within 10 minutes and after that you will learn the job hunting techniques how to hunt for jobs and everything we will review your linkedin and resume and then we will um, help you with placement wherein we give you interview calls from ref our referral network or company type based interviews and at the end each and everything will help you to become someone from a very scratch level to learn to the advanced level and at the last get placed in a company. So you can see the entire reviews of our learners, you can see the entire curriculum and I will see you inside the course.